Believe in you. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. You think you can't. But yes, you can too. The power of the mind. It's one of the most untapped resources in existence. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can't, or whether you think you can, you are probably right. See, the three most important words you can say to yourself are, yes, I can. When everyone says you can't, determination says you can. When everyone says you can't, resiliency says, yes, I can. When everyone says you can't, your heart, your will, your passion says, yes, I can. But I need you to believe it in your heart of hearts. I need you to believe it in your mental. So can you power through one more set? Yes. Can you power through one more rep? Yes. Can you power through that long day? Yes. Can you power through that adversity? Yes. Can you power through them setbacks? Yes. Can you power through your failures? Yes. Can you power through that bad relationship and overcome and come out smelling like roses on the other side? Yes, you can. Never allow someone's perception of you to become your reality. Matter of fact, I need you to do it for the people that want to see you fail. I need you to do it for the people that want to see you lose. I need you to do it for the people that want to see you quit. I need you to do it for the people that want to see you give up. See, in order for you to live up to the expectations that life, that the universe have set for you, you have to make a mental shift. You have to make a mental change. You have to adjust the way you're thinking. Because right now you're suffering from a severe case of stinking thinking. That's what the late great Zig Ziglar would say. And right now I'm telling you to your face. Yes, you can. I need you to say it with me. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. See, until you switch the way you think, you will always shrink. And you will always sink into the land of the lost. But you, yes, you, you were born to be spectacular. You were born to be phenomenal. You were born to perform at a high level. You have so much more to give. You have so much untapped potential. And for you to achieve your monumental greatness, you have to get out of your own head. You have to get them out of your head. And you have to believe that you can achieve for you to receive the blessings that the universe have in store for you. This is a great day. Everybody experiences extreme stress at some point in their life. I don't care who we are. Something happens outside our control and it hits our life and it knocks us on our tail. It might be a health stress. It could be something with your family. It could be economic, career. It could be something emotional that happens, biochemical. There's so many things. It could be an environmental situation that had nothing to do with you. Every one of us in our lifetime are experiencing extreme stress in these days because of the economy and the way we respond to it, the majority of people are experiencing some form of extreme stress, at least according to polls. Stress doesn't come from the facts. Stress comes from the meaning that we give the facts. Yes, those things have happened, but the real question is, if we fight what's happened, we got a problem. We gotta decide, what are we gonna do with what's happened in our life? How are we gonna take this? How are we gonna mold this? How are we gonna turn our life around? Because when you come up with a new meaning, you get a new life. So what are we gonna do in this session? Well, in this session, we're gonna take a look at something from a different perspective. We're gonna ask you this question. What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our Creator has given us, or the universe, whatever you believe, what is it, what is the one power that you have right now in this moment that can change everything? You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life, regardless of what's happened to us. And I know you know the answer. The answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second to think about something. Think about your life. I 
and just think about, are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you two decisions you've made in your life, you know that if you would have made a different decision, you would have had a totally different life. I mean, it may be a life may have been better or may have been worse, I don't know, but you would have a different life. I'm not asking you to, to buy into the fact that you should have known the answers. I'm just want you to see the power of a decision. How is your life better today because of a decision you've made years ago? Not just negative ones. Think about it. Sometimes a little decision changes your whole life. Like you decide one day to go to a certain school and you go to that school or you, to go eat someplace and you bump into the person that becomes the love of your life. Or you meet someone and you decide as a result of that that you're going to become a photographer or a software engineer or a business person or a doctor, a dentist, whatever. They impacted you, but you made the decision, that's what I really want. That's what, that's what my life's going to be about. And that decision has affected so much of your life. What you do, how you live your life, how you spend your time, what you earn or don't earn, you know, who you attract into your life, beliefs you have, all come from some of these little decisions. What you decide to eat from your dinner plate each night certainly determines your physical destiny, right? We all know that, at least to a certain extent. I know there's a certain amount that's genetics, but I'm talking about the stuff you and I can control. So decisions equal destiny. It's not our conditions, it's our decisions. So if we want a new life, if we want a new experience, we've got to make new choices. If you don't like the way your career is or your business is, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. You don't like your relationship, change you first. Because if you change it, you'll bring you to the next one. Maybe it's time to change it too, but change yourself first. If you want to change anything in your life, you have the choice. So there is no right or wrong. I just want to make you aware in this breakthrough session that everything in our life changes the moment we make a decision. And I mean a real decision. A decision is when you cut off any other possibility and you commit to something with everything you've got and you take action. But the big decisions start with little decisions like what am I going to focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. If you focus on all the things that have been done to you in your life, of course you're going to feel like hell. If you focus on all the amazing coincidences that have happened, things that Maybe they were guided, maybe not, but things happen. And because of that, you met this person that's your best friend, your husband, your wife, or because of that, you have this ability, or because you were there that day, God, you missed an accident. I don't know what it is, but whatever you focus on, you're gonna feel. If you focus on people don't care, and you'll look for reasons why they don't care, and evidence they don't care, you'll find it everywhere. If you look for evidence that people are really good people inside, that at some level we all care about each other, you'll find it. Seek and you shall find. The secret is, have you become conscious about your decision making? Because this breakthrough session is, really, you want to change your life, make new choices. New life comes from new choices, but you got to make conscious choices. The people in this particular television special, uh, Melissa and her husband, they really found themselves in a place where they were both making decisions, Melissa and Rick, that were unconscious. When you make decisions about what to focus on, and what things mean, and what to do, and you're unconscious, you get pretty terrible results usually. Now we've all done this, I do it still, we all do, but if you want to change your results, you've got to become more conscious in your decision making. So think about it. What you focus on, you will feel. Whether it's true or not, you focus on how people don't care, you're going to feel they don't care. Second decision you make is what do things mean. So you focus on something someone does and you come up with a meaning, and the meaning is no one loves me. The meaning is they're trying to take advantage of me. Depending on what meaning you come up with, and you get to choose the meaning of anything. For some people, they say, this situation happened with the economy, and what that means is, I'm going broke. Somebody else said, the situation happened with the economy, guess what? That means I'm going to work harder, I'm going to be more creative, it changed everything. Everybody else is going to quit, so we're going to dominate the marketplace. For people to do it. Is this the end right now, or is it the beginning? See, whether it's the end or beginning is your choice. You get to decide, because once you make up a meaning, it's true. If you think that this is the end of a relationship, are you going to treat people the same way as if you think it's the beginning of a relationship? No way. In fact, I tell people, if you want to have a great relationship, think about this. Treat people like you did in the beginning of the relationship and there won't be an end. In the beginning of the relationship, when somebody says to you, would you take out the trash? What do you say? Of course, take out the trash. <laughs> You're happy to do anything, right? But after about six months or six years, you go take them out the trash. You go, what do you mean? Well, I look like your janitor. Take out your own trash. The meaning we give things is very different and so we feel different and our life is different. In the beginning, you'll do anything for someone. Now you make up a new meaning. Why should I have to do that for them? 
little choices like what to believe about yourself, what to believe about other people, whether this is the end or the beginning, start to affect your whole life. And the third decision we make, we decide what to focus on, most of us unconsciously. We decide what things mean, and the third thing we decide is what are we going to do? We decide to quit because it's overwhelming. We decide to get strong and focus. We decide we're going to turn it around. We decide to wait and see. Ultimately, your destiny is determined by what you do. So, for example, what do you do if somebody comes to you one day and says you have a tumor? Again, I have that experience. I use that as a reference point because I've had a lot of intense experiences in my life, but that was one of the more intense ones for sure. I've had many, but that was very intense. You know, first, what do you focus on? Do you focus on it's over? Do you focus on why me? Do you give it a meaning that says I'm going to die? What do you do? Do you just go through traditional therapeutic approach? Do you put yourself in the hands of someone else? Do you evaluate this? Do you get a second or third opinion? Your destiny is determined by your decisions. Now, if you're a guy like Lance Armstrong, you focus immediately on, I gotta find a solution. The meaning you come up with is, this is the ultimate battle. And what you decide to do is you're gonna exhaust every possibility. Now, that doesn't guarantee you're gonna succeed, but it's interesting. When you have that kind of a mindset, it shifts you. And Lance Armstrong, I mean, he was told things like, look, you got, you got tumors here in your brain, you got them in your lungs, right? You got, obviously, in testicles, and you ride a bike for a living. That's pretty tough. But he made it through all of those pieces. Now, am I saying because he made the right choices? I can't tell you that. There's certainly some grace in everything. I think in life, there's three things. There's our ability to choose what we're focused on, or to commit, to, to get a result, to put all our intention and focus into something. There's our ability to do the right things, to have the right strategy to execute. And then there's some grace. There's what some people call luck, some people call grace. There's if you do the right things over and over again and with total focus, sometimes, you know, you get good fortune that comes your way. And you tend to have more good fortune when you're totally focused and decisive and you take lots of action than if you kind of just sit around and accept things like that you don't have a future.